All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. Best gyms in America. It's a nice chilly day in Madison, Wisconsin. And this gym entrance here, this under assuming, I'm not sure that's the right word, this place, wait till you see it. This is called Madtown Fitness. There's actually two of these gyms in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, this is the newer one. I trained at the other one um, last year and I loved it. So um, I'm excited to show you their newest facility here. So let's go check it out. So here we are. I'm here with Dan Paschalk of the owner of the gym. And so let's go, man. Show, let's show everybody what, we, what you got here. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm uh, Dan. I'm the owner of Mad Tom Fitness here in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, you're basically standing in our powerlifting area. So we pretty much tried to create the coolest type of environment we could. You know, like, uh, you know, growing up, I, I always read, you know, like elite FTS articles, stuff like that. So we put a big mural of Dave Tate up on the wall, hitting kind of that, kind of that uh, signature safety bar squat. Um, got a ton of calibrated plates in here. Basically, I think four full sets we got. Basically, all of our guys went nice and heavy on the calibrated plates. Um, hit all their meat prep type numbers. Uh, you know, Texas power bars, Ohio power bars, uh, Texas deadlift bars, Texas spot bars. Nice Elite FTS model up. Pretty much all of the equipment in this area is Elite FTS. So we got a nice nice bench cage with a fat pad on it. Another Elite FTS bench with the face savers. Um, another platform with band pegs. Another couple of racks. Got the ER rack and the model left over here. And pretty much every specialty bar you can think of. Oh yeah, here's some of the bars right here. It's like a mini, it's like a mini Elite FTS here with these bars dave's got i think dave's got a couple hundred now of course a lot of his are a lot of his are like prototypes so so what's this area back here so coming into here this is pretty much where we have all of our free weight stuff it's kind of a transition between basically like our leg room and then it moves into all of our compound movement free weight type stuff so more deadlift platforms back here two more lead cages a couple half racks right there got nice big deadlift platforms built into the racks uh, band pegs on every one of our deadlift platforms. Big rig for people to do some functional fitness type stuff, some monkey bars, all that kind of, kind of fun stuff. There's some, there's some marks for rings off of those. Um, we try to pretty much create a space where people can do whatever they want to do. So whether it's power lifting, body building, even almost like a functional fitness type movement or Olympic lifting down on the end. Um, and strongman too. We've got a big strip of turf here, a bunch of logs, pretty much every strongman implement you can think of. We just wanted to kind of create an environment where you can come in and do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I, this morning uh, we came in and we saw people deadlifting. We saw people doing farmer's carries. Everybody was working really hard. Yeah. You got your reverse hypers here. Yeah. You got, we actually have three different reverse hypers. So you got the tilt one. This one's got kind of the broken down one in the side. Um, it's totally different feel from the one. And then we got the more traditional space reverse hypers. Nice 45 degree. This is an awesome machine. I know you tried that. Yeah, one. man. Yeah. Can you show everybody how this works? Yeah. Just, yeah, I'll, just do like a couple reps on one leg. seem to like it it's kind of like a lunge movement it's a really good quality yeah well movement. you know it's good to people too that have knee issues too that reverse lunge kind of takes the pressure off the knee yeah, it takes a lot of the that's a good off. i see a, so a power or a, i see a rogers uh leg curl here um, yeah this is a great piece of equipment the whole panel on line is pretty awesome um it's really nice you can you can basically change kind of the kind of start position on a lot of these pop this up and you, know, you can almost even do like a partial if you really want to on it um super smooth movement these roll so I like the ones that roll too. Yeah. And this yeah, padding, this is like muscle. super thick padding. Yeah, it's all molded foam for all those. Yeah. They're, they're built like tanks. So we got a, we have quite a bit of logic stuff across kind of the whole gym. Really nice elite good hand raise. We got a, another good hand with the rollers on it. Uh, this is another type of reverse hyper. So this one's got more of like a lever arm to it. Um, honestly, more than a reverse hyper, it's used as kind of a glute machine. A lot of, especially like the girls do more like 
like figure type stuff. They'll do a lot of like root kickbacks. Root it, kickbacks. Like and they, like... they really like that one. Okay. This is a unique looking leg press. press. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, built, I believe, by a company out of Minnesota. Wow. I've tried a whole bunch of them, and this one feels better than any of the other ones that I've ever used. It's also the only one I've ever seen where you can pop in here and you can change the angle of the back pads. So yeah, there, yeah. You can go all the way flat if you flip this back up. Oh all the way down so you can change the angle it can it can take a lot of stress off there's there's kind of like a lot of the vertical leg presses are just so static so if you're trying to hit it and you're just not really built for it or you're just you just yeah. don't line up well with the machine you're kind of screwed you just don't really get much of a good feel out of it we got a nice big foot plate you can pretty much move your feet to wherever you need to and then you can adjust the back pad to make sure you fit in it really well yeah kind of getting over to here we got some more hamstring stuff you know the kneeling leg curl the hammer you got a Super old school standing leg curl. Um, you know, Magnum. Mag Magnum and Icarian both made a pretty good one. I haven't really seen anything other than a Magnum or an Icarian for a, for a true standing select rise that I really like. Um, kind of an old school sissy squat here. It's probably the only one I've seen that has these these rods on the top, I've so you can use. Seen one of, I've never seen one of these with the. You could do some crazy four reps on this. Pull yourself up. And yeah, and you can you can also basically. Put a band on top here, and then you can kind of put it behind your head, Make kind of the harder. same way you do, almost with like a like a floor glue hammer with a yeah. like a uh, it's called an inverse curl machine, like the West Side one. Yep. You can basically do I, I forgot what the abbreviation is for the for the quad side, but you can actually do those with a band too. Bunch of different leg extensions. We got a Strive, um, Nautilus. We also have a plate loader Strive over there. Um, old school Body Masters line leg curl. Uh, we got a. This is actually, this is the only trotter piece that I have in this gym. It's kind of a weird, just old brand. They, they became Cybex eventually, but it's built like a tank. People, people seem to love that seated leg curl. So yeah, we held on to it. It was kind of, kind of just like a trial and error type of thing. I think I had four or five of them before we found one that people just really, really like, and people tend, tend to just love yeah, that it's one. It's called so. the Galileo seated leg curl, it says. Yeah, that was a super, seen. super overbuilt line that Cybex made for a while. And then coming over here, you got the H squat, which is the most ridiculously overbuilt piece of leg equipment you'll ever see. <laughs> so it's it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. People, it's it's a little bit more glued heavy on like a leg press. It's pretty pretty easy on the knees. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of our people like to get up there, and it's just it's just a really really good natural feeling. Um, you know, kind of like a squat press basically. Speaking of easy on the knees. Yeah, that's Pendulum Power Squat Pro, which I know is one of your favorites. This is absolutely one of my favorite pieces of equipment right here. I love this. This is uh, my preferred squat machine right here. Yes, yeah, so you load it all the way down there, and it's just a massive so lever. So is this like getting you know, on the amusement park ride? You've got to empty all your pockets and everything. I, I am, yeah, because they'd probably fall out. <laughs> all my stuff would be dropping onto the floor. If you climb all the way up here. Yeah, I think my liability insurance would probably double if they knew I had this in here, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of the shoulder pads here, get into it, and you put your legs up, and the entire thing moves up. So it's just a massive lever arm. It's just a really, really natural feeling squat movement. So we have a lot of people that just absolutely love this machine. Gets used pretty much constantly. This is one that I've never actually used. And probably one of the reasons they didn't make a ton of them is that after you hit a brutal set of legs, you come down on these super steep little stairs. Man, that sounds like <laughs> <laughs> But it's, a, it's an awesome piece of equipment. It's a really cool one to just kind of mix it up with because there's, there's nothing else that feels like that machine does. And we got even more Rogers kind of next to this. The Seated Squat Pro. This one can go ISO or or basically fuse a platform together as well. Yeah, I absolutely love this machine. This is my favorite squat machine. Yeah, we've got that one at both of our locations. So we have another location and I, I bought two at once because I knew I didn't want to bring one into to one of the gyms and not have it at the other one. I've used this leg press before and I really, really like it. Um, I really like it. It's hard. But you can also use one leg at a time, right, mm -hmm. on this one? Yeah, so you can basically pull 
there's kind of like a rod mechanism. You basically just pull the handle and you can pop so that uh, the, the foot plates are independent. You can go ISO or you can, you can basically keep the platform fused. Um, and then with that one, we actually have the original hip press. So this is, this is an awesome, super, super smooth hip press machine. This is probably the best, one of the best leg presses I've ever used. You, and we have... Can you demonstrate? Sure. Yeah, I'll hop in. It's not too much weight for you, right? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> There's our hundreds. So, we have, so we, we have this exact hip press at our other gym as well. This is another one that I basically tracked down two of because there's really nothing else that that feels as as natural as this does, um, in my opinion. For a, I really like this. Now, yeah, I it's, have done this before, and I am extremely impressed by this this little machine right here. I've used it at two different gyms, but I love this machine. It's a pendulum machine, right? Yeah, and as it rotates up, it just there's there's really no ankle flexion involved. So yeah. people that have beat up ankles. It just it, it takes a lot of strain off. It just it's a it's a really really easy machine on your joints. And of course all the original nebula stuff for all of our linears, so linear hack squat, linear leg press, two of the most overbuilt, awesome linear piece of leg equipment you'll ever find. And kind of coming over here we got the we got the pulley style uh, belt squat and then we also got the pit shark. Probably one of the first pit sharks that was ever built. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a super old one. We got a few benches here. Yeah, we got it. We got a whole bunch of competition benches. So pretty much every bench in the entire gym is a competition bench. Another elite bench right here. Um, we got a Forza. We have, we have a lot of powerlifters that compete in federations that use Forza, so we have a Forza as well. We got a nice Dyna body here with kind of some face savers on it. Um, the cooler benches, though, to be honest, are probably these ones. So we've got pretty much a whole set of whole set of breaker benches. Like whether you want to go super heavy on dumbbells and you want to toss them onto the scoops and lift them out and just have them kick back after you pull them off. Um, you can do that. Otherwise you can hop over here. And right now they're set up for barbells, but you can you can adjust these benches to whatever height you want. So you can put it up 10 degrees, oh, 20 degrees, 30 setting, degrees, right? whatever. Low incline setting. That's yeah, so you can go low incline, you can go all the way up. All the way up to here and then it's the same thing. It's a breaker bench, so you'd have to jack these up a little bit to, to make it work like a shoulder press. and push this back a bit, but um, you can also take those scoops and you can just swap them out. So you could always use that for a barbell press. This bench over here, we just pretty much line them up so they're, they're essentially interchangeable. You could, you could hit like a, like a 10 degree incline press and be able to use those scoops for a lift off if you want to go nice and heavy using those benches over there. Utility benches, we got two super overbuilt Cybex ones and then a, a few more Rogers Athletic. Um, we have a ton of Rogers Athletic pieces in the gym. It's all Super, super beefy now, equipment. What does this bench do? It looks, it looks like an awesome utility bench. What all does it do? So, I mean, it basically just adjusts to a pretty high degree. There's, I think, one, two, three. So there's seven different height settings. So basically you can change it probably, probably about 10 degrees at a time. You know, go all the way down. Rather than a lot of the benches that can only go, you know, 10 degrees or so at a time, um, you can do that. They're also, um, basically there's this lever here and what you can do is you can kind of spread out um, basically the base of it. Generally that's used when you lock them into a rack so there's not too much of a reason to use it while you're just in like a dumbbell area. But, I like um, the low incline. Does, does this do anything, this lever here? Yeah, so that basically spreads the, the footprint out. So, I mean a lot of times if you're doing like a really heavy flat press, it's a little bit, a little bit better to have just a, just a longer base on it. It won't, it won't tend to tilt back as much, it won't tip back on you, but it, it makes it into kind of a pain in the butt to, to move them. So, you know, you can basically compress it this way, make it shorter, then pick it up, move it. Okay. And then if you're going like really heavy on, you know, like a flat press and you're, you're gonna sit back like some 180s or something, you don't wanna have to worry about tipping backwards on it. You can well, grab the lever. <laughs> Yeah, you can grab the lever and basically just spread the, spread the base on it. Um, All right, cool. Um, whole set of fat bells over there. Those are kind of unique. People tend to tend to like those, kind of screw around with them. We got a whole bunch of kettlebells, dumbbells all the way up to 180s. Um, yeah, so we got two different pec decks. We got, the, got an old school body masters. It's just built like a tank and then 
So it's kind of a basic little magnum one here. Somebody's doing this machine at Lifetime where I train. They have this bicep machine. Yeah, I like this one. I, th I think this is an awesome bicep machine. It's a, it's got a really, really good feel to it. I like doing a single arm. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is a life fitness one. Yeah, so that's a life fitness one. We also have a plate loaded one of basically the same thing over there. That's the, that's the old Cybex one. Um, you know, this is basic, but I really like dip bars that come in and be to give you the option of moving your hands in or out. I, I know it sounds trivial, but I really like when I can see, when I can change my uh, hand placement. Yeah, people absolutely love that one. And that's, this is probably the oldest piece of equipment in the entire gym by 20 years. It's probably 50 or 60 years old. It's a, it's like an Olympus one that was probably built in the 60s or 70s, but I'll never get rid of it. This thing is absolutely awesome. And I've never seen another one. I've never seen another one that feels this good either. I've never used one that feels even close to it. So people just absolutely love them. It's nice with the fatter grips too. A little bit easier on the shoulders. Yeah. Cool. All right. What do we got down this row here? We got our big multi-station, whole bunch of different attachments. Now you're kind of getting into, we got a super old Icarian overhead uh, tricep machine. And then basically this entire row is all just getting into our, our pull downs and our chest stuff. So um, we got a whole bunch of pieces from this Nautilus Explode line. That's this an awesome is, uh, pull down. That's one of my favorites. Moves I was talking about, the moves this Oh yeah, this yeah, yeah, you can move laterally and then you can rotate the handles on it as well. That's a really cool piece of equipment. We got the, got the wide pull down from power lift. This thing is just an absolute tank. All the power lift stuff is super, super power overbuilt. We've got- still, I've never heard of them, are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, they, I think they're out of Iowa. Okay. Company right. out of Iowa. So they're, uh, they make some super overbuilt stuff. They make, I mean, they make a lot of the same types of designs as Hammer, they just, elaborate on them and they're they're a little bit beefier so if you look at like a hammer press next to this one you know a lot of people like the the hammer inclines they've, they've got a good feel to them but then you hop on this and this one's a little bit more overbuilt you can change the start position so you can go from here oh that's very cool you know up to here that's really you can basically cool. just hit lockout work shoulders. if you want to um or you can drop it all the way down if you really want to get a stretch that's but very cool. you can even turn that into a lockout for tricep. yeah yeah, that's it's it's a it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. They have a, they have some extra features compared to some of the hammer stuff um, that we've been liking a lot. That is very cool. Wow, I like that. Yeah, save yourself a lot of shoulder strain. We really like this press too. Um, this is an awesome one to hit some tricep work on. Um, so you can basically basically sit down on it. It's kind of like more of the vertical handle. A lot of our guys kind of sit here and they'll just hit some tricep work here or they'll almost use it as somewhat of almost like a decline type of movement. Um, and you can change the, change the back pad, you can move it forward or backwards. You can lean it quite a bit back there, and then it's a little bit more of almost like a decline type movement. But this is one of the better feeling chest presses I've ever used. That's, that's the same Nautilus Explode line as that, that pull down with the rotating handles. That's an old flight pull down. But that's another one that's got a got a really really good feel to it. Kind of the rotary type setup with two two separate pulleys where you're. Okay. Like yeah, that. yeah. The the plane of it's really cool, and then we actually have a lot more equipment that's that's all um, more rotational. It's almost. Uh, now this oh. Paramount stuff has these uh, adjustable handles on it, moving up and down. Let's say rotate. So this is a rotary, so now the shoulder press. Good. Yeah, yeah, That's it converges cool. pretty hard. So we got, we got a Body Masters rotary shoulder, a Paramount rotary shoulder, but if you look at the two, this one's basically got a single pivot in the center, and this one has, a, has two opposite pivots to it. So basically this arm's rotating around a pivot over here. So with the Paramount, it converges a lot more aggressively. So, so they do have a totally different feel to them. If you, if you try that one, and then you try the Body Masters one, um, people tend to like to, to have both of those options because I, I think they feel completely different. I like that. Yeah, and change it. You can change like the handle position and the, the, the seat height too. So we have, we have a plate loaded version of this machine at our other gym. And when you change the seat position and the handle position, what you can do is you can kind of make it so that like if you, if you put the seat like way up, 
basically what's going to happen is you're going to end up converging more at the end mm -hmm. because you're you're basically just moving that pivot closer to you know your actual shoulder line if you put it farther down you'll stay a little bit farther out rather than converging as hard at the top just because you're not at the very top of that that very rotational cool movement that now this one's really cool people have been absolutely loving this one we honestly use it more for rear delts it's a little bit more internally rotated um, but it converges really aggressively and, and people have been absolutely loving this to hit just kind of as a total back movement and even just target rear delts depending on where they put the seat position. It's definitely a unique feel. I haven't really used anything else that gives the same type of feel as that. Yeah. It's just a little bit of a different type of type of feel on the contraction. Sometimes then. those like just little teeny tiny angles are what make a huge difference. Yeah, that one that one feels awesome. We got the pull down too over here, um, body master's chest, and then we're kind of getting into the into the calf area. Oh, look at this, guys! So that's an Force original Perillo handles. one. Yeah, and I know you said one of the first gyms you ever trained at, or it was the first gym you ever trained at, right? Was Perillos? Um, first really nice gym, I, yeah. I would say. Yeah, so I'm sure you probably used this exact one before. I, I really don't think there are a whole lot of them around, but this is an awesome piece of equipment. So this is really cool. You, um, when you can't do any more reps, you can help yourself. You can force it. tired push yourself up and do more reps awesome that's a cool old school piece of equipment yeah, yeah we got another nebula 45 degree and a super old school uh donkey calf this is this is like a super old like carrying one probably one of the first ones that was really made i've, I've also this? got the same exact one of both gems because that thing just feels awesome okay pretty cool tricep kickback another pendulum rogers yeah that's another rogers piece it's probably in terms of supinated handle position for a row i think that's probably the best feeling one out there this so. um, this gym has probably the most rogers rogers stuff in it i've seen and you've got a lot of paramount stuff too those are two really cool features here. yeah we got a good amount of paramount i try and pretty much track down the best designs that i can find so it's old we got a we got a bunch of old plate loader flex stuff too some plate loader body masters um, some of the hammer stuff's awesome uh, even like some of the old Cybex, it's kind of it's kind of hit or miss. I I just don't really stay too devoted to one brand. I try and bring in whatever whatever has the best design and and the best well, feel to it. One thing I really appreciate is look, I love it when gyms all have like the same color and all that. I think it's really cool as long as the equipment itself is good. So I yeah. like the fact that you're on a mission to find the right equipment is number one. That's your number one mission. I love that. That's very cool. Check this out, rear delts over here. Yeah, that's an awesome piece of equipment. That's probably, that's probably just as popular as the Paramount one for the yeah. for rear delts. People absolutely love this one. We've got we've got a lot of guys compete that just absolutely swear by that machine. Yeah, it's a super old plate loaded Nautilus Power Plus line. And there's there's not a whole lot of that line around. Uh, right next to it's the pullover, which, to be honest, is probably the best pullover ever made. There's there's really nothing that's going to be as smooth as this one. Um, you know, it's a belt driven, um, like pulley based system that's got a cam on it. So there's just like no drag and it's just a plate loaded, plate loaded model. There's, there's, there's really nothing that compares exactly to that one that I've, that I've seen. Very cool. We have some shoulder machines here. Here's some more, uh, Rogers press machines here. What does this thing do? It looks like it has all different kinds of angles here. Yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you want with this one. So right now it's set up for a shoulder press. You can pretty much sit on it. You can do, you know, just your more traditional straight up shoulder press movement. Um, it can basically adjust to pretty much any angle that you want on the, the back pad. So you can go down a few degrees, down a few degrees, and go all the way back to there. Um, you can move it backwards as well. 
And then there's all these different seat positions and, and kind of forward and backwards positions. And then, yeah, and then what's really cool here is you basically just pop them up. You can change them, so yeah, I'll, I'll let him put his to the incline so you can kind of see where the difference is. And then if you put it all the way down to the chest, you'll see how much of a difference there is in, the, in basically the start position. So if you move this one all the way down, now it's set for basically what's essentially just like a 10 degree chest. So you look at this all the way down to there, there's five different settings in between there. So you can pop this down and, and then hit a completely different movement. This is phenomenal. This Roger stuff is really cool. This one's got a really awesome feel to it too. This is just the, just the straight chest press. This and is these, a cool machine. Uh, you can change the range of motion with these pegs, right? Yep, you can basically just change the start position. So you can, you can bring it all the way back. You can start all the way back there if you want to, or have it have it way up there. So you can save your shoulders a little bit on this one too. It's kind of like the power lift. You can kind of kind of choose where you want to start it. Well, this um, is really cool because I see so many machines that when you get in them, you get in the starting position that to me it feels a little dangerous. Yeah. So, you know, this is really nice. It's allowing you to start in a little safer position. Yeah, it's just a little bit of extra. I think they just put a little extra effort into into making it so that you can you can set it up for your build. Like if you get into like a lot of the hammer press pieces, you're you're if you don't fit into the thing, you're just kind of screwed. Yeah, you know, you're just yeah. torquing your shoulder just to be able to get into it. That's right. And you pretty much got to have a, a training partner lift it off you, or that's right. Or you're exactly. basically just beating yourself up. So it's really nice to have these where you can hop in. You know, you can you can start from whatever position is you know the most the most comfortable. Same thing with this flex one. This is an old flex used to have these converging the incline. Oh, that came we all the way out. These at the Lifetime Fitness I was at, and uh, we love it. Really hard. Yeah, this whole line is awesome. This whole really line hard, is though. is really true on the weight. Yeah, and it's a really cool mechanism. It's really it's really nice because they're smaller footprints too. Yeah. They're narrower. A lot of the press machines have, you know, peg off here, peg off here, and you just cost yourself like another four feet. They're all on the back yeah. and it's pretty linear. I love this machine. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, so you can change a whole bunch of the settings on and this, this one. This comes in at an angle. Um, like put it on. Forward. Yeah, it converges. It converges a decent amount. It's a really, it's a really comfortable press. I like how it comes in, and it, it can, like you said, it converges. It's really nice. Yeah, this was always one of my favorites right here. Yeah, that's that whole line is just awesome. It's all super overbuilt, really cool stuff. We have the pull down at our other gym too, and that's that's probably one of my favorite pull downs as well. The old the old plate loaded flex one. Got the dip here. Probably my favorite dip personally. I think it's just an awesome feel to it. It's kind of cool because you got like basically instead of like forcing your legs into yeah. into like a basically in a place with like a roller that goes right on top of them. I kind of like that there's rollers here because you can kind of get into the weight and then kind of like get started and then you kind of just drive yourself back mm -hmm. and then lock yourself into place rather than like forcing yourself into place and you're forced in a seated position and then you have to start from here. The same type of thing where you're just torquing your shoulders to get into it. Um, a few other tricep machines here. We got we got the Nautilus ISO tricep or the, the ISO tricep dip as well. Um, the reason we have two plate loaded dips is because this thing is completely different from the flex one. The flex one's a lot more traditional, mm -hmm. whereas this one kicks back quite a bit more, and it's an ISO. So there's a little bit more of a, a little bit more balance involved. It's a, to be honest, I think it's a more difficult dip machine. One of the more difficult ones out there. This reminds me of um, when I do uh, push downs, my triceps, I like to kind of come back. That's yeah, not yeah, exactly, kick back a little bit. Kind of simulates that a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, and getting into kickbacks, this is a pretty awesome piece of equipment, too. This is, this is the only one I've ever seen. This one, it's a plate loaded Magnum, and it has a pretty crazy footprint to it, but this thing is used non stop in here. People are never hopping off it, so it's, a, it's an awesome piece of equipment. I haven't ever really seen anything that that quite matches this, so you know we've held on to this since I got it. And I basically bought it just because I had never seen it before. <laughs> yeah, it's a so pretty awesome how, piece of equipment. So this gym is pretty new. How long have you been at this location? 
Um, this location, we basically just finished everything off. So we moved into this building. Uh, previously, we were in a couple different other buildings and I ended up uh, buying this property and we're pretty much renovating the entire thing okay. um, so that we can get into a little bit more square footage. So our last location was 8,000 square feet. This one's right around 20,000. Uh, and we just moved in three or four months ago. Yeah. Basically yeah. just opened at this location. And initially, kind of if you look out into the gym here, there was basically where this wall is, it was just a continuous wall going all the way down. So we had like almost half of the gym space basically just roped off and we were still working on it over the last few months. And we kind of just unveiled the rest of the gym in the last few weeks. So we just basically finished off our, our current layout and we're still gonna be elaborating on it, still getting some more new piece of equipment. We're always getting new piece of so equipment. So is but, this your first gym? Uh, this was the first gym, yeah. No, the, the, your, first, no, your first first gym. Oh, no, no, my first gym was basically right down the street on the other side of the highway. It was about 2,400 square feet. Um, then we went to 6,000 square feet. Then we went up to 8,200. And now we've, this one's been here for a little over six years. So, okay. so I was in the other place for, for right or, I think right at six years and moved over here and we pretty much what do you think two has, and a half um, times the size. So what do, you, what do you think has allowed you to go from that where you started? To having one of the best gyms in all the Midwest, like what has allowed you to get from point A to point B? Um, I think honestly the biggest thing was probably uh, just the fact that I I really embraced my failures. I accepted them. I didn't I didn't look at you know like I've adapted my business plan quite a few different times through the last six years, um, and this was always kind of the goal to have this you know pretty big, huge, hardcore gym. Yeah. Um, but you know, when you're getting started, it's always tough. You're always gonna have ups and downs. You're gonna have really slow months. You're gonna have, you know, weeks and months where you're you're wondering how the bills are gonna get paid, stuff like that. And uh, I, I I think just the biggest thing was I, you know, I I try and do something with the business, and if it wasn't working, you know, obviously I'd put everything I could into it. But yeah. if you get six months, year, whatever, and it's like you're just not getting any type of return on all this time you're putting into something. Mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of people just don't really want to cut the loss in those areas. So I, you know, I'd, I'd redirect, I'd sit down and I'd, I'd basically look at what I was doing wrong and kind of accept what I was doing wrong and then make the adjustments that way. Okay. So I, I, I think it was just that my, my business plan has been pretty dynamic since the start. Yeah. Um, and the goal's always been what it is. Um, you know, just have like an awesome big hardcore gym where everybody can come and do whatever they want to do for a workout and not get yelled at for doing deadlifts or whatever yeah. it is. Um, but yeah, I think I've just, I've, I've, I've adapted a lot basically since what, I've opened. Um, so it wasn't easy. <laughs> no, no, it definitely it wasn't, wasn't easy. easy. Um, <laughs> and I, th I think people will see a gym like this and um, I think it'd be nice for them to know that you had to kick and scratch and grind and really work yourself into, into a position to, to be like this. It didn't happen overnight. Um, what, like if looking, um, what would you say is, what are you most proud of? Like when people talk about your gym and you think about your gym and you go to bed at night, what is the thing that you're most proud of? Um, I think it's probably the community. That we we built the community. Like when you when you walk in, it literally says welcome home on the on the front wall because like everybody and the reason we started putting that up, we put that at both chance, we put welcome home on the wall right when you walk in. It's because we, we kind of got to the point after a few years where, you know, like people come here and they train here for you know, two weeks and like, they'll never go anywhere else. Yeah. Like this is home. You know what I mean? If there are people that train hard, you know, even people that don't train that hard, people that just want like a cool gym that's just, yeah, right. you know what I mean? They can come in and everybody's just nice to them and it's just a cool community type of thing. People come in and they just, you know, it's, there, there are a lot of people that have made awesome friends here. There are, there are couples that have met their spouses here, you know, stuff like yeah. I, I met my wife here okay. actually at our, at our old location. So it's, I mean, you know, like you, it, Everybody has built, like everybody that's really involved in the gym and all the, on all the members, they, they've developed a ton of just personal relationships where the community is just awesome here. It's like one huge, huge family. And that's, and that's, I think, one of the things that I'm most proud of with this gym is that it's just, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of people in the same place that are all kind of like in it for the same type of reason. We're like, we're, we're trying to make everybody better. We're not just, you're not just in it for yourself. It's kind of like this big team in here type yeah. of thing. Well, um, I, I feel like you guys have one of the best reputations, so you're, you're definitely doing something right. And 
one of the things as I talk to gym owners, uh, one of the things that I find to be true is um, the facilities like this, they have that community that you talked mm -hmm. about. They, they have that. And um, so it's, it's funny. Like, I ask you that question, and I kind of know what you're going to say just because most of the guys, all of them that I've met, that have a mm -hmm. real successful gym, they create, they create that community. And I wish, um, I wish a lot, all the gyms would understand. Like, yeah. Create that, that culture, that community of hard work, supporting each other. So mm -hmm. obviously you've done an awesome job. It's a pleasure for me to be here. And Thank I'm, you. I'm glad that everybody out there gets to see places like this because, you know, people don't necessarily hear about what's in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, definitely. So um, I find the, the facility here to be awesome. I actually went to Dan's old facility last year, and he told me he was building another one, a new one, and I said, oh, i got to see this one. So this is my <laughs> first time here. And as you can see, the equipment's phenomenal. You can't see the environment. We're kind of shutting down for the day, but it's a great environment here. And um, I wish you continued success, and I look forward to coming back. Yeah, we'll definitely have you back. So thank you very Appreciate much, Dan. It. Thanks, Sean. Um, I'm sure everybody out there is, is uh, they're always excited to see these awesome places. So for those of you who are anywhere near Madison, Wisconsin, anywhere near, you, you've got to come by here. If, you, if you're in Chicago even, like just make the drive, come here and check this place out. It's phenomenal. I promise I won't steer you wrong with these gyms. So... Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.